working out. I don't know, man. You gotta, you gotta ask the man above, man. It's, you know, I gotta well, I say. That man above, and he said to ask you. Uh, that's, that's why I'm asking that man, no doubt. That's the I man. Can't, I can't get him on the phone. Hey, that, that, that man upstairs, the one with the plan, man. And, you know, I guess he wanted to wait till I was 30 years old to have a, have a career year. Do you ever think about the fact that I mean, most running backs, wide receivers, at 30, the whole thought is that you know it's starting to go down. And you're kind of going the other way. Honestly, I'm I'm just here to play football, man. That's something I've been doing my whole life. You know, like I say and before, like whenever my my numbers call, you know, I just just try to go out there and just make a play, and that's, you know, that's just something I've been doing my whole life. Is your preparation here any different than at other places because they ask you to do so many different things? Honestly, it's not. You know, I just get ready for the game, just like my other eight years. I I didn't do it before. You know, it's, it's nothing changing, man. I just. Like I said, I just, I just try to go out and just work, you know, just show the coaches I'm, I'm, I'm worthy, you know, and just and hope they can just continue to give me my opportunity. What was your family's reaction to that, that catch for the Saints? Uh, oh, uh, of course they was excited. I mean, my family always, you know, they, they wasn't there. <laughs> they just always excited for me, man. You know, um, we didn't lose a draw. You know, my, my family always there for me, man, and you know I just appreciate them more than they, they will ever know. So you know, I just. You know, they, they just always decided for me. How did you feel the silence the crowd? <laughs> it felt amazing. <laughs> you know, coming in, it was a much win, a much needed win for us. I mean, you know, and you know, we had a little scared at the end, but you know, we found a way to get the job done. And that's, and that's that was our only only thing to do. I was scared. You call it heart attack. I thought it was you know, some of your like, favorite moments of your career. Does that break? Worry about last year, but high up at all or anything? Uh, it's in the top five. <laughs> it's in the top five. What, what else is in there? It's a lot, man. I can't, we'll be sitting here all day just talking, but now nah, it's a lot. It's a lot, man. Do you remember the first time you made a play? Like, and this could go back to like Pee Wee or whatever. The first time you made a play where you were like, whoa, all right, this is, I might be a little bit, a little bit different. I might, you know, there, there might be a chance that I can do something like this. <laughs> can you say that again? Yeah, like, do you remember the first time you ever made a play that? Yeah, I just like, wow, it's, you know, I know about like, like, like Pee Wee Jr. High, mm. that you made a play like, wow, like, I, yeah, I could be pretty good at this, like, this, maybe, maybe I, maybe I have something. Honestly, no, you know, it's, I don't remember that too much stuff, you know, as I was a child, playing football and stuff, but, you know, I just, like I said, man, I'm just, I'm a football player, I just, I just come out here and just try to execute each and every day. Did you, I mean, there had to be some moment, though, where you realized that, this could be a living <laughs> I don't know, man. You you don't want to write the story, so so you gonna have to go find that moment for me and tell me about myself. Well, that's I appreciate what I'm it. You I appreciate you it, man. Would know better than me. Uh uh. You got the good knowledge, man. Oh, Dallas is a great team, you know. But you know, we not really focused on Dallas. We focus on you know the Atlanta Falcons. We. We were about getting a win, you know, and you know whoever's in front of us, you know, we just got to go out there and try to win. What are some of the things y'all gonna have to do to get this win? We're gonna run the ball good, you know. We haven't did that, you know, in, in a while, so we we gotta just focus on running the ball and just executing everything coach put in our way. Hey, how does your schedule go from day to day in terms of what position meetings you're in and <laughs> where you <laughs> where you kind of flow as the day goes? I mean, my day is simple, man. You know, I just come here wherever they tell me to go, I go. You know, honestly, man, I'm, like I said, I'm just here. I'm, I'm just here to try to help this team win, no matter where they put me on the field. But how, but how does that work out? Do you spend more time with one position versus the other? Or? Nah, man, I'm, I'm a running, I'm a running back, man. Uh, that's my position. They, they got me on the depth chart to running back. You know, when my numbers call to go out and, and play receiving, I just go out and do it. So TJ said you come with him sometimes. Oh, uh, uh, quarter. He can't, he can't tell you all that, man. Come. I'm just saying, hold on, dude. <laughs> you already did. Well, say, I've never heard you say that before. Say what? I'm a running back. I'm a running back. That's the first time you ever said that. You, you said I'm a baller, I'm an athlete. You Today, I'm a running back. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow? Tomorrow. <laughs> some day, I'm a quarterback tomorrow. <laughs> Next day, you're wearing a hoodie that said make fullback. Come on, man. <laughs> Got to keep them guessing. How, how fun is that as a football player just to be able to do so many different things and I mean, does that inspire you or motivate? I, I would do. I hope it, it can inspire you know younger kids. You know, and you know a lot of kids growing up only trying to play one position. 
you know, it, it's, a pos it's po positionless, you know, football, man. You just got to go out, you know, and just have fun and just play anything. And, you know, until your number's called, you know, just go out there and make a play. When you came in, did you know that it was going to evolve the way it did? Did they, was that part of the, the selling point for you to, to come here, to, to do more? That wasn't a selling point. This sun right here sold enough for me. You know, that's good weather. You know, that's, it, nobody can ever sell me on coming to where, man. I have been in a lot of teams, you know, and coaches tell you this and that, you know, and they all be lying and stuff. So, you know, I just, you know, Atlanta felt like the right place for me in the off season, you know, and I, I felt pretty confident in all the coaches, you know, and the whole staff and organization. So, you know, that was, that was a big factor. But did, did Arthur tell you that he was going to use you? You got to ask Arthur that. Yeah. <laughs> Do Arthur and Matt communicate differently in terms of the offense and, and putting and installing the offense than other coaches you've been around? Honestly, you have to ask them to that. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't speak that quarterback language and that head coach language. I just stick to what I do and just try to go out and be good at it. So you joke about it, but uh oh, yeah, you good? He's gone. He gone. You good? Uh, good. The, I mean, did the weather play play any sort of role? Because you played Minnesota, you played New England, you played Chicago. Like this ain't that. It's like five degrees up there. <laughs> Honestly, man, just just being so close to home, you know, being three hours away from home, you know, my family can come up, come up each and every week, you know, every home game. So, you know, it, it just feel good, man, and you know, just having family that close, you know, and that was a big factor. Do they come? They come all every every game, every home game we have, they'll be here. What's that like? That's amazing. <laughs> Honestly, man, you know, and you know, they they get to see they my mama get to see her grandkids and all that stuff every other week, so. You know, it was hard, you know, being in Chicago, getting on flights and all that stuff. Now they can just drive up. So, you know, I know they, they enjoy it much as I do. So what was the very first football team you played on as a kid? A Little League or Rick? Uh, gosh. Woo. I think they're called the Trojans, I think. Back in Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. What position did you play? What, when, they, when you came out, did they say – I, I was everything, man. Free safety, quarterback, running back, receiver. See, I put that free safety in there first because I'm trying to get Dean to let me go back there. So. <laughs> well, I know it's like hands team, Hail Mary, uh, you know. I, I want to catch an interception. That is, that's my next goal in the NFL, to catch an interception. Yeah, okay. Are you, are you impressed when you see that dude, like, in a, in a, on Sunday, he – Step by Cam Jordan, and he made somebody else fall, and then he ran. They're calling him Matt Vick. Does that impress you? Matt Vick? They called him that? Yeah. Oh, that's nice Marcus right there. Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now going a little too far. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, I mean that, that's, that's Matt, man. You know, we, we expect things like that from him. You know, I done, I done saw Matt over the couple of years, you know, was watching him. You know, I mean, that's just stuff he do day in and day out, man. So. It don't go unnoticed, you know. We we see it each and every day. How does he compare? You, I know you play with Tom Brady. How does he compare to like that, that other great quarterbacks you play with? I mean, Matt is Matt, man. He's, he's a Hall of Famer. That's all I had to say about that. How do you think you and Mike Davis get along so well? <laughs> I have no idea, man. I get along with all these guys on this team, man. I mean, you and Mike seem to just constantly be chirping at each other. That's the way it is in the locker room. That's my guy, man. I always give him hell each and every day, man. So, you know, what I tip. What give him hell about? His conspiracy theories? Everything. I'm a guy that, like, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a talk crap to you all day, every day, just because I love you, though. You know, I'm a, I'm a big-time joker, you know, and that's just something I do, you know. And just try to get away from football sometimes, you know, because football can be, you know, a lot. You know, it's a lot of stuff going on in football, you know, and some people – they just see us on Sunday. They don't know what go on Monday through Saturday, you know. And we got people got life outside of this football stuff. So you know that's why I come in with a smile on my face each and every day, joking and just just having fun. Mike's kind of the same way. Of course, he my friend. He, he got no choice. <laughs> what's, Couple more. What's the best joke or best prank you pulled? <laughs> Can't tell you that, man. You might go try to pull up, pull my joke or something out. Do you pull I, them I, on each no, other? I don't got that type of skill. So do you, do you pull them on each other, or do you, are you like a tag team? We put them on each other. Some guys are sensitive in there, though, so you got to watch what you say to some guys. 
Hey, given all the stops you've had in your NFL journey, are, is there some surprise that it's taken all these years for somebody to really find this way to use you? I mean, I know you, you play receiver and obviously you return, but the versatility here, is that? Honestly, man, I, I, I just love it here in Atlanta. You know, there's no other way around it. You know, I just appreciate every, everybody between the coaches and the organization and the staff, everybody, just appreciate everybody, you know, not overlooking me, you know, just giving me my shot, you know, and I just I just can't thank them enough for that. Do you want to stay? I mean, <laughs> you, got, you, you, got you just said you, you, but you, but you got I love it. Atlanta, man. You got to, you got to, I don't, I don't got nothing to do with none of that, what you finna act, so. <laughs> that's, out of, that's out of my pay right there, man. That's yeah. out. I mean, but if it was up to you. It's up to me, I'll be here for the next two years, if it was up to me, but it's not. <laughs> yeah. That's a quote. Awesome. <laughs> thanks, DP. All right, y'all. All right, thanks a lot, man.